Our most dangerous patient suffers from a disorder, essentially holding her growth around age 10. Orphan First Kill is a prequel to Orphan and takes us through the iconic character Esther and how she made it to America and her first experience in this country. What is your name? My name is Esther. When I first found out that I would be coming back for Price's role, I felt physically terrified afterwards. <gasps> Even though it's fake, right? Your body doesn't know that. And so there's something really cool about walking off the set and being like, oh my gosh. Action. It just was a page turner, and I couldn't put the script down. And I was like, oh, I cannot wait to sink my teeth into this. I'm such a fan of The First Orphan. It's such a great movie, but it had such a great twist. So you didn't even really get to know who she really was. Because by the time you found out that she was an adult, then the movie's over. And so I think a good prequel allows you to go back and really get to understand a character that you fell in love with. Ah! Esther's behavior has been so erratic since she got back. <laughs> I was fortunate enough to come up with the story for the original. And David Leslie Johnson, who wrote the screenplay, and I actually collaborated on the story for this one. I think the magic trick of Isabel being a nine-year-old girl is going to be so fun to see it come alive. And I think everybody's up to the challenge. When I played Esther originally, I was 10 years old, and I'm 23 now. So even on set, the way that we were mapping things out on how to make me look like a kid, and a lot of that actually really came from the wonderful young actress doubles that I had who played basically my body. This is gonna be cool. We got all three Esthers working on this one. My favorite part was honestly doing this with you guys. It was so cool. The character of Esther is so multifaceted. She's a woman, she's a child, she's a villain, she's a victim. We have this ticking bomb in her and we're just waiting for when it's gonna go off now.